Greetings and welcome to Let's Play Tex Murphy 2 Martian Memorandum. Well, last time we found out quite a lot of stuff. Um, not really much, okay? We found out that Alexis has a brother who looks like a zombie reject from Resident Evil. And yes, that supposedly Alexis' father is kinda not the one he said he is. He got a total body makeover from the doctor of Mars. Hmm. We got told, we got asked, let's say this way, to, well, now get something from the casino, which we will do. Open. Yes, blah, blah, blah. We already read this. Okay, according to my walkthrough, this is a very time... in... timely manner. So let's save and do... and see how we fare. Okay, um... Da, 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 I'm going to walk right through the casino until I come... The Wheel of Fortune! Ooh, office! No one is watching, so I quickly open it. Does think so? Well, let's go in. Not my first mistake, but possibly one of the biggest. Inside the office, I'm immediately swaddled by two goons the side of garbage trucks. After sufficiently crushing my lounges. My what? I drop to the floor, and then one of them slams my head into a desk and I drift away. As I come to find myself facing none other than Big Dick Castro, somehow he knows who I am and what I'm after. It's obvious he's after something for me. Uh, Big Dick Castro has the most enormous head I have ever seen on a Cuban. Totally bald, middle thirties, so it's far too late for him to learn to dress himself. He sports an orange polka dot shirt and tie. Someone had used as a napkin and a white crayon sports jacket. He's everything you would expect from a man with a big head named Dick. <laughs> his teeth are nicotine stained from one too many Havanas, and his English was just slightly better than my Spanish. Big Dick's great uncle Fidel was the top commie in Cuba, which meant he grew up on a crush, crust of bread and dirty water. This had made Dick tough as nails and meaner than a rabid skunk. He would gotten the gist of capitalism and nothing would stand in his way. Okay. Ow! I want the stone, Murphy! Where is it? I want, don't know why you are called Dick. I don't know. You're lying to me! Why would I do that? Alexander's daughter got it and I haven't been able to find her. I know a bluff when I see it. Maybe I am, but can you afford to take the chance? We'll be back in ten minutes. You tell me then, or die. Ow. That's why it's timely went. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Family. So, what do I have to do? I look at the desk and get the card to the left, yes. Get card. You grab the card. I always now go to the safe so I can actually read what I have to do. On a hunch, I'm off. I'm off. Yes, I'm off. Off, 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 off. I move the light. I want cast was painting this means a passageway. Move the light. You rotate the light head 90 degrees, and a secret panel rises, revealing a passageway. Oh, let's go in. I go to the passageway, I would never figure out the alarm combination. So I concentrate on the odd looking floor that starts just before the lasers. Since I have the infrared glasses, I can see the lasers. The floor is pressure sensitive. I walk up to the edge of the odd floor and use the hoverboard. Okay, use... Hoverboard. Ooh, kinky. Okay. I have no idea why. Uh, da, 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 da. The wood is tight, streak and tight. I go between the 
first two beams in front of the third. Woo! Behind the fourth. Between. Yeah. Let's save. <laughs> Laser. Let's run into one of the lasers. Ah! Oh. You stumble into deadly laser fire. Let's laser. But this is not really that hard, is it? Unless a laser suddenly appears out of no nowhere, I should be pretty safe. What the hell? Uh, oh. Ooh, I made it! Awesome. Okay, what now? Uh, da, 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 da. And I was to off the board and once I get a normal floor. The safe lock is the machine to my white. Uh, I use the safe card to keep the desk, customer's desk. Use safe card to keep there. On this, a pleasant voice says, "Prepare, prepare for retina scan." Uh, uh. Ah, use. Now we have to use the uh, facial kit. <laughs> facial kit. What? Sorry. You place the putty on your face and stare at the Dick Castro trading card. Your face slowly transforms into an exact replica of Dick. Ugh. The computer says ID verified. Okay. Yes. That's that's again a riddle. I don't know who will ever figure stuff like this out. Honestly. Would you have guessed, oh, I have to use the facial kit to actually transform my face into the exact duplicate of the trading card? Oh. <sighs> Got facial. Facialize. Facial. I always wanted a safe game called Facial. That's <laughs> Uh, the computer lock will get me a cast on the safe. Opens! Walking right to the safe, a look on each of the three shelves. Look. Martian Loctite safe. Ooh, $120,000 in cash. The week's receipts. And Big Dick's private stash of Havana cigars. One LP of the drug wash. Let's get everything. Why not? He's something pretty good. You might as well make him pay for it. You're not that kind of detective. Yet. You take the marker. Ooh. Sure to take the marker for Percival. Okay, b b b b I have everything. Okay. Let's move back. Um. Use hoverboard. Whee! Oops. <laughs> I should have saved. <laughs> uh, facial. Next time I will actually give my save game some numbers before it. So I can actually see what... What's the latest one? Laser save. Yes. Use hoverboard. Okay, down here. Down.